Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or just welcome if you are new. My name is The Clumsy Simmer and today we are in Willow Creek building a base game only suburban home. Uh, the end outcome of this home ended up having four bedrooms. So there's three bedrooms upstairs and one bedroom downstairs as well as a um, at home gym. Uh, you can always refurnish that into an additional bedroom. So this could ha this house has a total of about five bedrooms. So a big family could live here. And then um, it ended up having three bathrooms, I believe. And I believe one of them is a half bath. So two and a half bathrooms and five bedrooms. It ended up being a relatively big home, um, which is always a good thing, especially for gameplay. Uh, the more your family grows the more room you end up needing and it's always a hassle you know when you have a small house and your sims have the unexpected twins or just you know you just keep having them try for a baby and they end up running out of room and then you have to rebuild a house or find a new house on the gallery to download and i know when you're in the middle of playing that's kind of the last thing you want to do so um this home definitely has room to grow. You could start out with just two Sims and slowly build up um, the family members of the home if that's what you'd like to do. Or you could just start out with a two parents and a couple of kids or maybe a grandparent and some parents and some kids. That's kind of what I had in mind, the downstairs bedroom. I kind of figured if there was grandparents in the house, they would live in the downstairs bedroom. And um, yeah, so it ended up turning out pretty cute for it being only base game only. I tried my hardest. I ended up putting um, a driveway outside. That's something I like to do quite often. And uh, put some debug cars out there on the driveway just to make it feel more lived in. And I am finishing up the exterior of the house already. It ended up coming together pretty quickly. I've built houses like this before, so that's probably why it ended up being pretty quick. Um, I love doing the brick on the bottom and then the paneling at the top. I think that is so cute, even in real life. There's a house actually that lives down the street from me and we don't have many two-story uh, houses in this part of town, but or at least not in my neighborhood anyways, but um, that is a two-story house and it has the brick on the bottom and the blue paneling on the top, just like that. Different shape, but the colors are just like that and I think it's so pretty. And then I ended up using these yellow flowers, I think blue and yellow. They really complement each other really well, especially on uh, for houses. They just look really good together. And I ended up using this pavement with the gravel in between it and I wanted it to look kind of how it is in real life and sometimes what people will do, I'm sure you've seen it, they'll have kind of pavement spread out through their grass creating a walkway and that's what I was trying to achieve here. I think it turned out pretty good especially right there in the front with the little square pavement and um, I could have used the debug pavement but sometimes I just don't feel like spending 30 minutes trying to perfectly place it. It, it is time consuming and relatively boring unless I'm in the mood to do it. So I ended up just using this pavement with the gravel in between it and I think it turned out really good, especially right there in the front with the, uh, there's like two pavements in the front and that looks really realistic like I was trying to achieve. It's going from the sidewalk, the front sidewalk to the front door over to the driveway. Um, but we are in the backyard now. You are going to see me mess with this pavement in the backyard. I could not decide exactly how I wanted to place it. I almost went with just paving that whole area. And then you've seen me delete that. And then um, I couldn't decide if I wanted it to go all the way down to the end of the pavement. It just wasn't looking right to me for some reason. But I ended up figuring it out in the end. You'll see that in a little bit. 
Um, most of this backyard is paved and there is a pool. And now I'm just throwing down some bushes and I end up putting flowers there as well, I believe. That's usually what I do. Yeah, there's the yellow flowers. Um, I think it just adds a sense of decoration and it just, it looks pretty cute. And there I am, I finally placed the pavement how I want it and that is how it's going to stay. And we are putting some per terrain paint down. I ended up just using just one terrain paint. Sometimes I will go all out and I will use several terrain paints. I do think it looks better when you use more than one, but sometimes it's not really needed, especially if you use the terrain paint that's kind of like the dying grass. So it's like some dirt and some grass. I think that gives it like a nice touch when you outline the pavement with that. But uh, with that being said, I believe we are done with the outside for now, at least with the layout of the outside. And now we are inside and I'm trying to do something different with the entryway. I always end up doing the same entryways. It just, the stairs make the most sense to be right there in, in the front door. Usually when I've been in two story houses, the stairs are right there when you first enter. I'm. I'm trying to think of a house that's not like that. Maybe sometimes it'll be in the living room, but most of the time the living room is also kind of through the front door. So I don't know. That just made the most sense to me. And um, this area right here ends up being the dining room. So you walk in, there's the living room, and then you walk into the kitchen, and then you're able to walk through to the dining room. And there is a downstairs bedroom, a downstairs bathroom, and an extra bedroom that I turned into a little at-home gym. And we are upstairs trying to figure out the layout. I, it came together relatively quickly. I ended up doing three bedrooms upstairs and one and a half bathrooms. The upstairs bedrooms, um, yeah, they ended up being quite long, which... I hate furnishing long rooms like that. It just makes it so difficult. Like there's most, especially using just base game, we're short on pictures and just decor items, just everything really. I feel like <laughs> when you do a big home, you're kind of reusing stuff with base game. But um, yeah, those long rooms, they're so hard to decorate most of the time. I guess I could have put windows up there now that I'm thinking about it but there was already a couple windows in there and so you'll see a couple of the walls in the longer bedrooms the kids bedrooms in particularly they are kind of bland there's not very many decorations to put on there at least not that I could find that really fit the room and so I ended up changing the wallpaper and Typically what I do if I don't have many wall decor, I will use a busier wallpaper so that you won't feel the need to have so much decor on the walls, you know? But um, anyways, we are in the kitchen now. The kitchen came together pretty quickly. I actually like how it came out. Those burgundy counters are like really, I guess you'd call that color burgundy. I love that color. It looks so good. These are probably my favorite base game counters. You can just use them in the Mediterranean builds. You can use them in suburban builds. Um, not really modern builds, but there is modern counters in the game. So uh, yeah, so I put a hutch over there, like a kitchen hutch, I guess you'd call it, um, over there on the other side just to take up some room and I'm just putting some little clutter pieces in the kitchen nothing too extravagant and I always try to remember to put one of those fire extinguishers too because my say when I don't have a fire not fire extinguisher but like the fire alarm when I do not have a fire alarm in the sims that's when my sims decide to start a fire am I the only one or are you guys like that too let me know um, but I am back furnishing the living room. The living room was kind of an odd shape too. I couldn't decide what to put under those other windows on the other side of the room, but, um, I ended up putting a computer desk there. So com when in doubt, if you do not know what to put somewhere, just put a computer desk there. 
<laughs> put a computer desk or like a side table desk sort of thing or maybe even a bookshelf and that kind of goes a long way. You can never have too many computer desks or bookshelves in a Sims build I feel like. Especially when you have a bigger family. It's like everyone tries to go on the computers all the time and I feel like they all aim to go on the same exact computer. Like I'm not even lying. If there's like two computers in the house, maybe one in a bedroom and one in the living room, they'll just go to the same one and I want to say it's always the computer that they shouldn't be going to. I was so happy when they um, introduced that patch. Um, it's been a while and you're able to lock the computers for a specific person. That really was a lifesaver because now I can actually have computers in the kids room and one in the parents room and I kind of like to put like the cheaper computers in the kids room because that's how I feel like it would be in real life. What kid is going to have like an expensive MacBook unless their kid, their parents make a bunch of money. But um, so I like to put the cheaper computers in the kids room and then I lock that computer during my gameplay so that it's only the kid that is able to go on that computer so that grandma doesn't come in and take over the computer when she has a perfectly good expensive computer in her room you know so um yeah now i am just doing the entryway really quick i really wanted to put some sort of like little seat there but it just did not fit so i went away with that idea um i have the mirrors that i always put in the entryway for some reason <laughs> And I'm um, just putting some last minute decor pieces in the living room. We're pretty much done in the living room. I know it looks kind of bland, but that's what you get with base game. I feel like it's hard to make it really l feel lived in and cluttered with just the base game. You need at least one other pack, I feel like. But um, we are now in the dining room. Dining room really is nothing special. I wish it turned out better, but... Um, I just added another mirror here on the wall and then one of these end tables and I put some sort, I was looking for a decor piece to put there, but I think I ended up putting just, uh, some books there if I'm not mistaken, but, um, yeah, you see me kind of fumbling around. I could not find anything to put there. So I ended up just putting some books and, um, I tried to mimic the little book stack and tiny living that have the little plants next to it um so i just did that with base game using those little potted plants and put another fern over in the corner and that's about it for the dining room i believe and now we are into the bathroom and nothing special there at all you know there's a toilet paper roll and I put something over the toilet and I also like to try to remember to put the toothbrush container and a soap dish in there as well. Um, it looks like I might have forgot to do that in the downstairs one, but I believe in the upstairs one I did put the toothbrush holder and the soap dish up there. Um, maybe as I was building I kind of didn't do it downstairs on purpose because I kind of figured nobody would be using that downstairs bathroom. Here I did add this, the soap container and the toothbrush holder and that is the parents bathroom and this is the master bedroom. And uh, the furniture is not my favorite. It's kind of more modern which doesn't really fit the rest of the house but I was just trying not to reuse the same furniture. <laughs> And so I ended up going with this bed. I do like the bedspread on this bed, however. Uh, the leaves and like the vines in it is really cute. And I'm just trying to find a rug that looks good with it and put it under the bed. And then I end up changing that dresser out. I, I, the other furniture was modern, so I kind of figured why not use this modern dresser right here. And then I ended up putting these mirrors over the dresser I was kind of wanting it to look like the mirrors were built into the dresser I don't know if I achieved that or not but it ended up looking good regardless and then I just added some little clutter pieces onto the dresser like some perfume I really like to add like makeup onto the dresser kind of like the uh one of the sims that live there 
uses that area to get ready in the morning. But um, now we are over into the children's bedrooms. Yeah, these are the long bedrooms I was talking about. It's just super long. I it was there's just not enough room to make it into two different rooms, if that makes sense. So I ended up just doing one oblong looking room. Um, I don't know if oblong's a word or not. It just sounded right. <laughs> but um, I decided to put a couple of twins in this room. It was such a long room and I needed some space. So I was like, you know what? Maybe there's twins that live here or just two children that are close in age that are sharing the room. And then the other room has a toddler and lucky toddler gets their own room. But, um, and then I like to use these lunch boxes. Uh, if there's kids in the house, I love using those lunch boxes. It just feels so realistic. And then I wanted to make sure I did these backpacks in the exact same color as the lunch box. So one of the kids has the owl backpack and lunch box. And then the other one has that watermelon backpack and lunch box. And I think those are my two favorite swatches. And there's also one that's pink and it has like little doodles on it. That's a really cute one. That's one of the new swatches that came in a recent update. But um, I'm just adding some posters onto the wall, trying to make sure there's enough skill building items in here for the kids and some toys. And yeah, so I ended up putting that lantern there for the light. And I thought it turned out really cute. And some curtains. Couldn't really decide on the color of the curtains. I almost used that uh, curtain with like the animals printed on there, but I feel like that's kind of not so much for children and more for toddlers in my opinion. Just seems kind of on the childish side. But we are in the toddler's room now and I do believe I ended up leaving that cloud lamp there. I haven't really figured out the best way to use the cloud lamps. Like, is it best just to have one random one in the center of the room? Or sometimes I'll put like some smaller ones around it. I just haven't really decided what I like best yet. Uh, I've noticed if you use more than one, it kind of lights up the room too much, which usually we have the opposite problem usually the rooms are not lit up enough but uh yeah those cloud lamps are really good and so you see me change the wallpaper like i mentioned earlier in the video i wanted it to look busier without having too many wall decorations because there just is not a lot of wall decorations and especially children's wall decorations um even when you have all the other packs, I feel like it's kind of hard doing unique children's rooms. I kind of stick with the same themes throughout most of the houses that I build. I try to switch it up, but you know, when you build so often, you just end up reusing ideas. It's just, that is what happens, at least for me anyways. And when I used to watch speed builds all the time, I would notice the same thing with like other YouTubers as well. But um, the upstairs is finally finished and now we are downstairs. This is the downstairs bedroom I was talking about. Um, I figured there was probably a grandma or grandpa or both that lived here with their son or daughter and this would be their bedroom. And so I kind of made it look like an older person, like an elder Sam lived into, in this room. And so I added that not, I don't want to call it ugly because that's mean, but just not very pretty architecture picture. I feel like an older person would like that probably. But um, yeah, so now we are over into the downstairs. I thought I made this into an at-home gym, but I guess I ended up putting a computer in here as well as the living room because so many Sims lived here. And then I put a treadmill in there as well so that your Sims could get some workout done. And um, I am just trying to figure out the color of the curtains that I want. And I wanted to put some sort of picture in here. I guess I just ended up with that cork board. I mean, it it's something for the wall, right? And then this is just a hallway, nothing special. I just put a picture in that plant. I don't think I even put a rug in there. 
and now we are back in the backyard just putting some loose ends out here in the front and the backyard i never use those chairs i want to figure out if I use the chairs, it's typically just the bland white swatch. I feel, I wish they would put some more swatches, like update those and put some just regular swatches that don't have like the grilled cheese and stuff on them, which don't get me wrong. The grilled cheese is cute and very Sims like, and then there's the plum bob as well. But I have a hard time trying to figure out how to use those swatches. I don't think I have ever found a good way to actually use those swatches. I need to put that on my to-do list and figure that out. I'm going to end up making a whole build just to use those grilled cheese chairs. <laughs> but um, anyways, just putting some lights into the pool and I added a grill and a little umbrella table with some chairs and some planner boxes and we are getting done. Um, if I had some of the different packs then I would have also added some floaties for the pool as well but this is just base game so if you have those packs then that pool would be perfect to put some floaties in and now I'm just pulling some cars out of the debug and we are finishing up so if you enjoyed this video please like please subscribe please share with your friends um, that really would help me out a lot this is a brand new channel I have only done a few videos if you would like to check it out that would really I would appreciate it a lot so I hope you all have a great rest of your day and see you in the next one bye guys a heart speed to the city streets we begin to feel the fire we rise like Tall buildings as the chemicals that take us higher. The night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine. We wanna chase the night, wanna dance to the light. Pulls dust from the sky just two hearts running wild. Never sleep, never stop. So oh.